A movement is taking over the North End, rallying for change. And as CTV's Julian Taylor reports, they're starting by spreading positive messages about their neighborhood. As you can see, there's the overall image, and that's kind of what people see. Words of hope now line a street notorious for violence. North End youth want the city to know their neighborhood is more than that. To look up on Suffolk Avenue, you'll see these bright, vibrant banners that send messages like, we have heart, we're working together, I think is amazing for the community and it's the beginning of great things. Each design was created by the community's youth. For most of last year, around 40 young people worked on the banners, which aim at restoring pride in the North End. So anything that can make a positive change for them, anything that they can take on ownership of, anything that can empower them, we need to do that. Haley Bonham and Michael Champagne lead a youth movement called AO, Aboriginal Youth Opportunities. They rally their community to take back the streets and put an end to the violence, something they believe needs to be spearheaded by young people. It needs to come from the, from the horse's mouth, and I think young people telling young people is the best way to make sure that um, the message will stick. Last year, Winnipeg saw a record number of homicides. The first and the last of the year happened on Selkirk Avenue. Love, love. The youth put this video together after a New Year's Eve murder to say enough is enough. This community isn't just about violence and horrible things happening. There is a lot of love here and I care and a lot of the youth that I work with care. For the past six weeks, they've been meeting at the Bell Tower on Selkirk. Every Friday, more and more people join. Momentum, they believe, will only get stronger. Jillian Taylor, CTV News, Winnipeg.